Hello, in this video what we're going to do is show you how to use Cam Studio for recording your screen. Say you have a chart like this, you want to make a video of it, what you need to do is use a program like Cam Studio. And this is uh, the program that will come up after you download the program. Do a Google search for Cam Studio that should bring you to the web page download the software and this is the little box that's going to record your screen and we're going to go through the menu bars to start off with file pretty simple here record stop pause and exit really don't need to explain much on that within this uh, section here you get fixed region and full screen if you want to record your entire screen click on full screen fixed region we'll uh, get into that when we actually start a recording options you got different video options that you can uh, go through I like to put ones that uh, have some uh, decent quality cursor options I use the one with a pencil as you can see I have that exact same uh, one you got a bunch of different ones you can choose it's, it makes it a little easier sometimes to uh, show you where you are highlighting on the screen. You can click to either record from the uh, do not record any audio at all. You can record from the uh, microphone or you can record from your speakers. You got different options. I do, don't uh, do too much with that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to want to record this uh, chart. So what we need to do is we need to uh, set this up so that it is uh, a 16 by 9 image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over to the... Actually, that didn't come out too well. I want to copy and paste this so that the entire uh, program is uh, shifted more to the left-hand side. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start recording this and what I need to do is I'll do a fixed region and I'll just highlight an area which means that I'll be recording along this area however I uh, like to have this 16 by 9 and you can do 4 by 3 as another method 16 by 9 gives you a very good uh, uh, image and what I have here is the numbers they gave me from the from what I dragged 689 by 358 and what is important was the width so what I'm going to do is take the 689 divided by 16 I'm either gonna to have to round it up or down and it's gonna be rounded down so I take the 43 I multiply it by 16 which gives me 688 I also need 43 again I'll multiply that by 9 which gives me 387 this will give me a 16 by 9 setup so now what I can do is I can push this record button and I can do a quick little video. So I highlight the area I want to do, click and start recording. Hello, today is the 29th of June 2010 and this is a very quick look at the silver market. We have SLV which is the chart you are looking at from April the 8th 2010 to current and it didn't get hit as bad today as stocks did well they got crushed the Dow the S&P but what I find very interesting is how these two moving averages one from the lows that was set in at the earlier part of May and the highs right after it the running averages was a level of resistance in here and in here and then support on now two occasions. So this is going to be big emphasis for the area of roughly $18 and uh, a few cents. And if we break below it, uh, we got a level of support uh, roughly around be around $17.75 as far as the five-day moving average is concerned. We can see how, which, which is this line in here. This is the five-day. The five-day moving average uh, is now sloping to the downside, so you can make a case for this being a uh, a sandwich pattern. 
and uh, just have to take a look at it because remember that uh, a lot of these up and down moves are priced in towards uh, the paper comex market. It doesn't really reflect how silver is doing, not based on its supply, based on its demand. It really doesn't do that. So with that being stated, just uh, if the market keeps going lower on silver, it offers uh, great buying opportunities. I'm a huge believer that it's going to be a great asset in protection against the uh, fiat currency because it is a real tangible asset. And then at that point, the free market can help. Because if you see silver have a 3 4 5 6% down day, it's because of the Chicago Comics market, as is a 5, 6, 7% up day also. So to say what the real value of silver happens to be, I really don't know. But to say that it's at this price, you know what, I don't really believe it. So thank you for watching and have yourself a great day. So I have now stopped the tape and they're going to ask me to make a name for it. So what I'll do is I'll type in, say, silver and... Uh, put in the date the 29th and then it's as you can see it's compressing the audio and uh, just let it compress and what's gonna happen is a screen will come up on the screen and uh, you can see the video come up there's the screen uh, so now we got the video you won't be able to hear the audio too much now you couldn't hear it too much but uh, that's how you record a video using your screen with Cam Studio. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments section below. Thank you very much.